Hey everyone, welcome to another Top 10 list. I've got another Top 10 list coming up. This one was suggested by Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer suggested that I do a Top 5 large size $5 bills. So he wanted a Top 5 large size $5 bills. He he really likes $5, uh, the large size $5 notes. Uh, he's also a collector of notes uh, like binaries and, and uh, radars and repeaters holding zeros and fives. So I can really appreciate how much uh, he likes $5 notes, especially the older ones. So he actually suggested the top five $5 notes, and uh, I'm going to do them one better. I'm going to bring out the top 10 large size $5 notes. Um, so this is his website here. If you have not checked out Silver Surfer, please do so. Good friend of mine. Uh, we've been talking and chatting for a long time. He's got some great videos. Not only currency, but he's got coins as well. Uh, he was mostly coins, and uh, he's slowly coming over to the uh, the paper side. So you're going to see a lot of his currency stuff as well. Um, thank you, Silver Surfer, for suggesting this, and hopefully some people will come from here and check out your site as well. So what do I have? The top 10 large size $5 bills. All right, I've got Silver Surfer's name out here so everybody can see that while this video goes on. And here we go. Number 10. I'm starting off with a bill that should be ranked much, much higher than what I've got it, except for the fact that it's a very difficult note to come by, and it's an extremely pricey note, and therefore you don't see a whole lot of them. Uh, it's not a note that you're, most people are going to have in their collection. It's not a note that most shops are going to have. Because of the difficulty in getting this particular note, that's why I listed it where it is. Not because of the, uh, you know, not because of the price or anything like that, but just because of how much you have to spend for a note that you aren't necessarily going to see. This particular note uh, is one of the national currency notes. Um, national bank notes, more is the uh, proper way to say it this particular one is not the real thing this was just a copy of one because to get one of these well you're easily going to fork out 850 to a thousand dollars for one of these and frankly there's a lot of really neat notes you can get for that price so that's why i view this one as number 10 um this particular one is the first charter there were three charters as far as national currency and national bank notes go so that also leans a little bit uh, toward why this one is as good as it is. The back is neat because on the back uh, it has a lot of green ink, and normally they didn't have the dark er, the dark greens like this. Uh, the second series, I believe, were the brown backs because those were all brown. But this one here, having the green ink like that, it is an interesting note, but it's just a note that is so rare that you aren't going to see it. And everybody watching this... If we all went out and bought one, uh, it wouldn't happen. There just aren't that many out there. So as cool of a note as this is, um, I have to put it at number 10 just because it's not a high demand note. Not a lot of people looking for it. This particular one was from Walla Walla, Washington. <laughs> That's the cool thing about the national or the uh, national bank notes is they're from actual cities, individual cities, not necessarily the Federal Reserves. But more on that later. Anyway, number 10 is that particular $5 bill. Number nine, back to the real thing. This particular note is a Federal Reserve note. Federal Reserve note uh, authorized by the Federal Reserve Act, December 23rd, 1913. And you can see here it's the series of 1914. So it is a 1914 $5 Federal Reserve note. Now these are fairly easy to get a hold of. They do have kind of a classic look to them. Um, I... I Really like the classic look. Of course, you've got Abraham Lincoln as the president pictured in the center. Um, a classic blocking on the note. You know, not the most exciting note, but one of the most affordable notes you're going to find. These start off at like $65. So this is an easy note to add to your collection. It is one of the large size notes. So a large size note, well, obviously all the notes in this group will be large size notes, but an easy note to add to your collection at a fairly decent price. Number nine, the 19, 1914 Federal Reserve $5 bill. Number eight on my list. This particular one, this is... We'll check out right there. Series of 1918. This also is a Federal Reserve Bank note. Federal Reserve Bank note. This one was issued from Atlanta. Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta. Uh, they issued, actually each Federal Reserve would issue these notes. Uh, so you've got all 12 Federal Reserve Banks. 
Uh, this particular one uh, is also a copy, just so you guys are aware. Um, I did purchase a bunch of notes similar to this, so that I was able to show notes that I don't uh, that I don't have. And also, sometimes holding thousands of dollars worth of bills in your house isn't the smartest thing. So I did get a couple of these. But you can see that this, even though it's a reproduction, it, it's a really good one at that. So this particular one would be the series of 1918 Federal Reserve Banknote. Um, I would put this at number 8 on my list. Number 7. I've got another national bank note, $5 national bank note. Um, this one is from the third charter. Uh, and this one I like better than the first note I showed because this particular one is much more attainable. You're going to see these all over the place. Now, national bank notes, you have to understand that the treasurer would send someone out to certify the bank to make sure that they were not going to go under. And then they were allowed to have bills printed with their particular bank. This was the Eau Claire National Bank, um, and by being certified, they would get a charter number. And that charter number, well, <laughs> that charter number, once everything was all said and done, some of them exceeded 15,000. So to collect all of the national bank notes, you'd have to accumulate over 15,000 different notes. It's just not achievable. But you still should probably have a $5 note from the national bank's and this particular one is a third series note, making it one of the cheaper notes as far as national bank notes go. Um, the city name that's on here, that is going to have a lot to do with the value of the particular note. Um, generally, the smaller the city and the further west the city, the more expensive the note. Um, so keep that in mind when you buy. It's always fun to get a note from your hometown. However, the closer to your hometown that you purchase the note, the higher the premium. So keep that in mind. Generally, you'd like to buy one of these outside of your state and be lucky enough to run into one uh, from your particular city. So it's fairly difficult to do. Um, this was actually called, this picture is the Pilgrim's Landing at Plymouth Rock. That's the picture that's on the back of this particular one. Um, these do start off at a reasonable price. Um, this particular one is 1902. Starts off at about 125, quickly works up to 250, 300, 400, and so on down the line. This particular one, you can see the price on there. So that would be number uh, seven, 10, 9, 8, 7. Number six on the list. This is a 1923 silver certificate. This is known as the porthole. Uh, the 19... 23 silver certificate features the perfectly round porthole view of uh, Abraham Lincoln. $5 silver certificate. Um, this is a higher priced note. It's a fairly tough note to get. Um, let's see, take a look at the back here. Pretty impressive looking on the back like that. I, I kind of like that, how that's splayed out. But this particular note here from 1923 is known as the porthole because it does have that perfect circle. Most of the time they went with more of an oval shape like this, but to have the perfect circle around there, um, that gave it the title of the porthole note. It does get to be a little bit expensive. These start off at about 525 and go up from there. Um, so that would be number six on my list, the 1923 porthole. Number five. You guys have seen this one before. Number five is the 1907 wood chopper. Once again, the wood chopper. Pioneer life in America. Wood chopper has got his axe. He's got his wife. Wife's holding the baby. Got the rifle next to that. Got his hunting dog right next to him. 1907 wood chopper. Very impressive note. This is the affordable version of the note. The 1907 version. Depending on the signatures uh, on this particular note, you can get this one fairly cheap. Uh, the 1907 usually starts off well, as low as 120 in rough shape and goes up from there. So it is a note that can be acquired fairly easily. Uh, you've seen this in a couple of my videos. Uh, it, it's one of it's one of my favorite notes that you can have because of the affordability and well, like I said, any note that's got a tight uh, name, a title like that, you know, the wood chopper, that's something that should probably be in your collection. So number five, the 1907 wood chopper. Number four looks like the same note, but it is not. Nineteen oh, this is the uh, 1869 version of the five dollar treasury note, five dollar wood chopper note. This one is known as a rainbow note. You can see that the back uh, has a 
uh, a colored pattern on the back, kind of a greenish going to, or a bluish going to a green. The rainbow pattern, known as a rainbow note, these were from 1869. They made the rainbow notes in all the different denominations, um, and they are extremely cool notes. They are extremely expensive notes to get as well. Uh, this particular one is not the real deal. This is also a facsimile because I do not own a rainbow note yet. Rainbow notes from 1869. Um, they start off about at around 400 or so in really rough shape. But if you're going to get a rainbow, you're going to want to make sure that it's in nice enough shape that you can actually see the color on the back of it. So these can quickly get to $1,000 without a problem. Therefore, I just have the facsimile. Sorry, but it's still one of the cool notes that should be uh, on the top 10 list. Next up, number three. This one's in rough shape, so that tells you right away it's the real deal. This particular note is an 1862 $5 legal tender. Now, what makes this note so good and the reason why I have such a horrible <laughs> condition note like this in my collection is because of what this is. I debated putting this as the number one note because of the importance of this note. This is the very first $5 bill that the federal government issued. Uh, this is what it, where it all started. This is what they look like. Prior to 1862, all the notes that were issued were, uh, they were called obsolete banknotes. They're, they're banknotes from individual banks, nobody backing them but the particular bank. You could have 20 different notes from 20 different banks and not know what's worth what. And the federal government stepped in and said, all right, we're going to make sure that all the notes are the same. And they started printing money. So the very first $5 bill ever issued by our federal government, that's what I'm holding in my hand. 1862. Uh, this one is a legal tender. These start off at 400 uh, even in rough shape like this. Um, also can quickly get to six, eight you know, even a thousand dollars relatively quickly, but it's the importance of a bill like this to your collection. That's why I like this particular bill at number three. Number two, one of the most controversial notes ever produced. This is an 1896 five dollar silver certificate. This is from the educational series. Uh, the five dollar educational note is the problem child. This is the note that caused all the controversy for the educational series. They put out a $1 bill, a $2 bill, and a $5 bill in 1896. And when people saw this bill right here, this $5 silver certificate, they went nuts. They saw that the central figure ain't wearing a shirt. And they said, we will not have pornography in our pockets. And they demanded that the educational series be removed. Um, such a beautiful note. Uh, this doesn't even look like money. It's hard to believe that this is actual U.S. currency. 1896 $5 educational note. The problem child of the educational series. Very, very beautiful note. Um, because of this note, like I said, they had to yank the entire educational series from 1896. And by 1899, they had all the notes replaced. So, yeah, number two on my list, very impressive note, almost was number one on my list, but when I thought about the note that replaced it, that had to be the winner. Number one for the $5 large size notes, this is my 1899 $5 silver certificate. This is my chief note. Chief Unk Papa is the guy that's on there from the Sioux Nation, if I remember correctly. The $5 1899 silver certificate, one of the most iconic notes in American history. Features Native American on there. Just an incredible note. Uh, the amount of detail on this note is spectacular. Just an iconic picture on there. Front and back, stunning, stunning note. Um, like I said, to, to come up with a note as quickly as they had to to replace the educational series, what an impressive job. Being a silver certificate, of course, it has the blue seals. It has the blue serial numbers on there like that. It's one of my favorite notes. It's one of the most collected notes out there. And it, that has to do with the price because this particular note uh, is actually quite affordable, especially for being a number one on any list. Uh, this particular note starts off at about four seventy five dollars and goes up from there. You're talking, you, you can get a decent version of this note uh, for less than six to seven hundred dollars, I'm sure. 
Um, this particular one I know I paid less than 500 for because it's got that little bit of a stain right there. But yeah, when it comes to large size $5 notes, to me this is the winner. My $5.1899 chief note silver certificate. This is the replacement note for the educational series, and I think they did a heck of a job replacing that series, especially when you look at notes like this. All right, guys, that's my top 10 large size notes. Large size $5 notes, I should say. If you agree with my list, go ahead and give me a like. If you think that I got the order wrong or anything like that, leave a note in the comments and tell me why. Uh, if you have an idea for a list, like Silver Surfer had an idea for this particular list, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. If you give me an idea for a list and I use that list, your name will appear at the top of the video and I will also pull up your YouTube channel for everyone else to see. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in to my $5 top 10 $5 large size notes. Uh, if you enjoyed this list, once again, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week with another top 10 list. Bye-bye.